Kevin, it was quite a weekend for Whitworth men's soccer. Uh, a couple of impressive wins over Lewis and Clark and Will Lamett. Total of eight goals scored. Take us back through what you saw that you really liked about this team. Uh, confidence on the weekend. I thought that especially in the Lewis and Clark game, we came out uh, with intention. Started a little slow against Willamette, um, but really picked it up as the game wore on, wore on. And, you know, you score four goals in a game, you should be pretty happy if you come away with the win. Well, let's talk more about that. Last week we talked about some mm -hmm. of the things you might do in practice intentionally to, to increase our, our goal scoring output. Do you want to talk about what those were or, or how that played out? Well, we spent a lot of time in front of goal, uh, striking on goal, building into goal. Um, and so we'll continue that to see if that was the solution. Anytime you have a lot of goals scored like that, suddenly uh, you kind of go back to see if that will help you prepare for the next games coming up. So we will do the same in preparation for this coming weekend. You also had a couple of um, really strong performances by key guys who might have mm -hmm. had slower starts to the season. Uh, talk about how those kinds of performances can be infectious for the rest of the team. Well, I'll start with Cole. Um, he's been in a little bit of a scoring drought, and when he's scoring goals, the guys are just that much more confident because he does um, give us a spark uh, when he's on. Um, other guys seem to feed off of that, so it was good to see him get back into his flow. Uh, I'll also say that Keegan... Um, is a major part of when we're playing well. He is the heartbeat of our build out. And uh, Aiden Chase, uh, amazing performance in goal overall. Uh, gave up only one goal all weekend and um, was very good in our build out. So, front to back, we were good this weekend. Well, you're going to need to carry that mm. kind of momentum forward this coming weekend. Uh, obviously, it's, it's no secret this is a big weekend with always when you go to Tacoma and you play. Uh, the two Tacoma schools, but uh, log jam at the top of the standings right now involving uh, all four Washington schools, and, mm -hmm. and it's going to shake out a little bit this weekend. What do we know about the loggers and the lutes that are going to present challenges? Uh, well, the loggers have a new coach, uh, so they will present some unknown challenges, but uh, we'll watch tape and see how we can best prepare for them. PLU is uh, PLU. They're always very strong and competitive. This weekend is going to be important, though, because uh, there is, the conference is much tighter this year than it was last year, and there is a nonstop competition for those first two to three spots, and this weekend will have major impact on the final standings.